Hi guys, welcome to this session of Logical Reasoning. I am your Logical Reasoning Tutor, Kasturi Sanam. Guys, today in this session, we are going to discuss about directions. This is a very long session and it consists of 5 videos. In the first video, of course, I am going to introduce you to the topic and help you understand different directions. If you are new to our uh, YouTube channel, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay updated with the latest videos that I post in quantitative ability and logical reasoning. Also, please do join our Telegram group by the name of Anur Zindal to stay updated regarding various competitive exams. So, let us begin this video on directions. This is the flow how the session is going to go on. In the first video, I will be teaching you the basics of directions and will be solving direct problems which are related to the four directions north, south, east and west. Then we will be solving problems which are related with four derived directions which include north, east, northwest, southeast and southwest. Then we will be dealing with problems which have relative points which deal with relative direction as compared to a particular fixed point. And then we'll be solving various problems related with the angles. And in the last video, we'll be solving mixed problems, which mixed problems which test all the above concepts. So, with this long introduction, let us start with the concept. Now, these are the eight directions. Here you can see this particular is my starting point. So, this is my starting point. Please pay attention to this cursor of mine. Now, anything that is to the right of my starting point is the east direction. Something that is to the left is called as the west direction. Then to the upper side is my north direction and to the lower side is my south direction. Now, these four directions are called as the derived directions because they are not the primary directions. So, we have northeast which is to the north as well as to the east. Then there is northwest which is to the north as well as to the west and something which is placed in south as well as west is called as southwest and there is southeast which is the combination of south and east. East. So, if anything is placed in between south and east, then that particular direction, that particular object is set to be in the southeast direction. As and when we progress into the problems, I will be teaching you more and more concepts. But to begin with, I think the basic knowledge of what directions are is important and we can begin, the, begin solving the problems. Now, these are very direct problems which deal just with the knowledge of four directions. So, I have already taught you the eight directions, four primary directions and four derived directions. With that particular knowledge, we can solve these questions. So, let us begin the question. A man walks five kilometers towards the south and then turns to the right. So, here I have read the first line of the sentence and it says, the first sentence of the question and it says that the man is walking towards the south. So, I am going to draw my directions here. I am going to just draw it. This is my north, east, south and my west direction. So, the man is walking 5 kilometers towards the south which means he is going in the lower direction. So, he is going towards south and he has already covered 5 kilometers. Then he turns to the right. So, when he is walking towards the south, then his right is going to be my left. So, his right is actually going to be this direction. And, and he walks 3 kilometers. So, first he has walked 5 kilometers. Then he is walking 3 kilometers. Please take care that your diagram is drawn to the scale because then only you will be able to find out the correct directions. These are pretty simple questions so you need not even draw it to the scale. But few times there can be tricky questions and if at all you don't draw your diagram to the scale, if your 3 kilometers looks longer than 5 kilometers, then you might end up in trouble. After walking 3 kilometers, he turns to the left. So, he is walking in this direction and then he is turning to the left and walks 5 kilometers. So, he is again walking 5 kilometers. He is turning to the left and walking 5 kilometers. So, he is in this direction. 
Now, in which direction is he from the starting point? So, guys, this was our starting point. This is where the man was previously located. He has walked 5 kilometers towards the south. Then he turned to his right, walked 3 kilometers. So, when he was walking towards the south, he covered 5 kilometer distance. Then he turned to the west and he started walking 3 kilometers. He turned towards his right, started walking 3 kilometers. Then again, he turned to the south and walked 5 kilometers. So, which is this direction? So, if you look at, look at this diagram, this particular point wherein the two axes meet each other is called as the crossing. So, this is the crossing. So, you always have to assume that the man is standing at the crossing. So, assume that this location is right now placed at the crossing. So, you can see that he has walked towards the south. Then he has turned to the west and again he, he walked towards the south. So, actually, we have to find which is this direction. So, if you draw a line towards this particular direction, you will find that this direction is at the south as well as at the west from the original location. So, which means that this direction is to the southwest. So, the correct answer here is option number C. You can always draw this particular diagram, draw the direction compass and then you can draw these, this particular diagram. You can merge these two diagrams also if at all you are a newbie, if you don't know about direction questions. As and when you practice and as and when you progress into this particular chapter, you can skip drawing this diagram. But I would always recommend that you always, whenever there is a direction question, don't make a mental diagram. You always draw it on the paper. Now let us see the second problem. Rasik walked 20 meters towards the north. Then he turned right, walks 30 meters. Then he turns right and walks 35 meters. Then he turns left and walks 15 meters. Finally, he turns left and walks 15 meters. In which direction is he and how many uh, meters from the starting point is, is has he traveled? So, let us draw our diagram. Let us draw first the compass. So, this is my north direction, this is my south direction, this is east and this is west. Now, let us draw this particular diagram. Rasik has walked 20 meters to the north. So, this is my starting point. He has walked 20 meters towards the north. So, this is 20 meters and he has walked towards the north. Then he turned right. So, this is the north direction. He is walking towards the north. Now, when he is turning right, his right is going to be same as my right. So, he is going to turn to this side and he is going to walk 30 meters. So, my 30 meters should look more longer than my 20 meter. So, he has walked 30 meters. Then again, he turns to the right and walks 35 meter. I am going to cross out the sentence which I am reading or which I have marked in the uh, diagram so that I don't miss out on a particular statement. Also, I don't uh, take the same statement twice. He turns to the right and walks 35 meters. So, now he, he is turning to his right. So, his right is going to be the south direction. So, he is turning to the right and walking 35 meters. So, it is going to be a bit more than this, this side. So, this is 35 meter. Then he turns towards the left and walks 15 meter. So, now he is turning towards the left and walking 15 meters. So, his left is going to be the east direction. My right is going to be his left and he is walking 15 meters. Finally, he turns left. Again, he is turning to the left and walking 15 meters. So, This is 15. So, finally, he is turning to the left and walking 15. So, this is where he is going to be at the end. So, this was the starting point. This is the starting point. And this is the end.
in which direction and how many meters is he from the starting point so if you place the starting point here you can see that he is to the east so obviously the, the answer is going to be east so it is either this 30 meters or 45 meters so now let us calculate the distance now from the starting point to this point i am going to name these points this is a and this is b so from starting point to the b point that is a b the distance a b is nothing but 30 meters because this looks like a parallelogram and it is a parallelogram because every time he is moving right he is moving left so he is moving at 90 degrees angle so this is actually a rectangle so this distance is also 30 meter and now this particular distance from b to c is going to be 15 meter correct because this particular distance is 15 meter so 30 plus 15 is 45 and hence he is 45 meters to the east so the correct answer is 45 meters to the east now in the last problem i told you that you should always draw diagrams to the scale and i hope with this problem it must be quite evident that why it is important to draw the diagrams to the scale if at all you don't draw it to the scale then you might mess up with the wrong you might end up getting the wrong answer let us see the third problem before even we begin, let us draw the compass. So every time I am going to draw this particular compass. Starting from point X, Jayanth walked 15 meters towards west. So this is the starting point X and he has walked 15 meter towards the west. So he is going in this particular direction. Always remember to draw the arrows also because if you don't draw the arrows, you might get confused between the starting point and the end point. So it is always better that you trace the path. So you draw the arrows. Now Jayant has walked 15 meters towards the west. So I am done with this particular statement. He turned to the left and walked 20 meters. So he has turned to the left which is he is moving to the south and he has walked 20 meters so this is 20 meters he turned to the left and walked 15 meters so he has again turned to the left and he has walked 15 meters now in this case Jayant was facing the south so his left is going to be my right so we are done with this line also after this he turned to his right and walked 12 meter so this direction is going to be his right so he has turned to the right and he has walked 12 meters so this is 12 meters how far and in which direction is giant now from x so this this was where Jayant was standing and right now Jayant is at the lower side. Correct exactly at the lower side of X which means Jayant is at the south from the starting point. And if you calculate the distance let this point be A. So X A is going to be 20 meters because this is definitely a rectangle. So if I extrapolate this X A it is 20 meters. And the end point, let us uh, assume that the end point is B. So AB is 12 meters. So, so 20 plus 12 makes 32 meters and 32 meters south. So the correct answer here is 32 meters south. One morning, Sujata started to walk towards the sun. Now Sujata is walking towards the sun, which means that Sujata is walking to the east. Sun rises from the east and sets to the west. Always remember that. So Sujata is walking towards the sun which means that Sujata is walking to the east. After covering some distance, she turned to the right and then again to the right. So assume that Sujata has started in the morning from point A and after reaching point B, she turned to her right. So she turned to this direction. And again she turned to her right which means that she has actually taken a U-turn. So she has taken a U-turn. She has turned to her right twice which means that she has taken a U-turn. 
and after covering some distance she again turns to her right so she has covered some distance and again she has turned towards her right which is this side now in which direction is she facing so she has turned to her right after taking a u turn which means that she is facing the north direction because this is the arrow which is marking sujata's uh, path this is marking sujata's uh, to the direction that she is facing so this direction is nothing but north so the correct answer is option number b so with these four problems we have completed the video based on the concepts as well as the direct problems which involve a person traveling and facing right facing left and it it involved concept check and it involved testing of very basic concepts which were related to direction in the next video we will see some advanced concepts and we will see how questions test these particular advanced concepts so stay tuned thank you